hi guys welcome to or well, welcome back to exposed and if i'm welcoming you back and you like it here i'd love it if you stayed and subbed here we go for the final hour shall we jump in on the at this recent surgery or four different times Oh, here? Did you have them here? Oh, wow. Why is she doing this on live? Really? So disrespectful. Anyone else bored? Is she writing to people mm -hmm. in the chat while she's supposedly on the phone to him? Fuck's sake. Uh huh. Yeah. Shall we whiz it on? I don't know if that will oh, upset people yeah, with peritonitis. Why would you be talking about operations and peritonitis on your first or second phone call? Aren't they the details you leave until you've got to know each other a bit better? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. <clears throat> yeah, no, I know a lot about that because my mother had her small intestine rupture when I was in sixth grade. So she had peritonitis poisoning. This was before MRIs. They couldn't do that, and so they had to... The way that they got it out was with a tube, you know, she had a tube down her nose, down the back of her throat, and a machine that, like, would suck all the stuff out. Lardy knows far too much about medical procedures. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'd love it if he was watching and just said, stop typing. I can see you. Oh, by mistake. Yeah. When did you have the surgery? <clears throat> what was when was the most recent one? Oh, she's interested now. Ooh, hmm. We might have painkillers. And it, and you're still in a lot of pain. Wow, I've had twelve. I had twelve surgeries in twelve years. I had double total knee replacement four months of each other. And that is the most painful recovery ever. Takes over two years. Oh, you're telling him that what he had isn't anywhere near as bad as what you had. I never tell them about my knees straight off. 
mm-hmm. to recover. Um, I, I was a ballet dancer. <laughs> Really? Oh my god, run, old man, run! I studied ballet for 18 years and I just was bone on bone. And so um, I had to learn to walk again and then I went and ha- had. Well, I had to learn to walk again. Really? Talk about fucking make it sound like worse than it was. Your middle name should be exaggeration. Laurie exaggeration, Beth. I actually had three because one, the first knee that I had done, I couldn't bend, I didn't do enough physical therapy that I was supposed to and because I didn't have anyone to take care of me, I thought I was going to rehab and they sent me home. And um, so I stalled and wasn't able to bend my leg appropriately so they had to put me to sleep again and then break through all of the scar tissue that had built up and then so I had to heal from that and then three months later I had the other knee done and it that's a brutal brutal surgery I've, I've also had abdominal surgery myself so two so I know about healing but gee, it's too bad you're still in so much pain. Maybe you could share your painkillers with me, mole man. Allegedly, don't come for me. Stop typing to the chat. That's just rude. Mm-hmm. Turn off the live and talk to him properly. You were crying that you missed him a minute ago. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Look at her rolling her eyes. Yeah. And she was the one that wanted to talk. Oh, I miss you. Mm-hmm. I keep thinking about you. Yeah, no, you have to dress comfortable. Oh no, he might turn up to a date like Glenn in wrinkled trousers and a hoodie. Then what? Were you? What were you wearing when you went to EG's? Were you naked in your car? <laughs> Scrubs. Those don't seem very comfortable because they don't stretch. They breathe though, don't they? I always think they look comfy, scrubs and crocs, when you see the American hospitals on the telly. Without naming names because I don't do that. Um, I know at least one of my subscribers is a nurse. Are scrubs comfy? If you want to share that with us, you don't have to if you don't want to. Yeah, no, I know. But I've actually, I think I've tried them on. I I don't see how, everybody says that they're comfortable, but they don't have any stretch. It's because you're too fat. (laughs) 
What do you mean you have to bring them to you? Oh, right. I, maybe I tried on the wrong size. <laughs> maybe they don't go up to your size. She thinks she's this tiny little ballerina, doesn't she, in her head? Look in the mirror. See the real you. Yeah, yeah. So you, why not sweatpants instead of scrubs, though? Because they're heavy. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Ooh, has he had an operation on his down belows? What's he had? <laughs> he needs room for his things to move about and breathe. Oh, okay. That's cool. Do you wear this, the top also? Sorry. Oh, just the pants. Just the pants. Got it. I'm sure you look fine. Scrubs are in. Wish I could yeah, see the no, Wow. Mm hmm This is just so fucking rude. I so wish I knew where he was. I hope he didn't meet up with her after all of this malarkey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, of course not. I, yeah, no, no, I get it. I get it. Uh huh. So what do you what do you wear on your feet now? This is just so Why rude. do you think that is? We don't need to know about what he's wearing and what he's wearing on his feet and what operations he had. He didn't ex expect that that was going to be fucking broadcast to all and sundry on fucking YouTube. Oh, okay. Because, sorry. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. You could probably get some sneakers that were lightweight. Ah. Yeah. You poor poor guy. I I feel your pain. I've like I said I've had multiple surgeries and I get it. I you know, I didn't tell you when we were talking about my knees because it's a little um I don't know. It's it's like embarrassing. Like I'm you know, I'm 57 years old. I have double knee replacements. I can't my you know, I, like my favorite position is doggy style and I can't be on my knees. Really? Really? So I have to work around it and tell the guy, you know, like, I can't bend my legs that way. Like you've been doing it that often. And I've only had sex with one person since the surgeries, and he was like 28 years old, so... I kind of feel, so I feel like, you know, I can understand, like, you don't want to tell all these, all these things about yourself, you know? Yeah, but you just know now that he's told you everything, that's your excuse never to see him. And she'll just block him again. I hope he comes across this one day, I really do. Mm hmm No, I enjoyed talking to you. I really did. And I and I reached out to you now because I just, I don't, you know, I just didn't like how I acted and I didn't like being mean like that. And and so I just wanted to say, you know, that, you know, I, I was thinking things should go a certain way and perhaps I was rigid and I wanted to apologize and just, and I know you didn't want to text. So I said, can I call you? But you ended up calling me and I'm glad you did. And so, you know, maybe we can continue to just get to know each other whenever, maybe when you're healed or whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, my abdominal surgery was weight loss surgery. I had um, vertebrae. Why? Why would you tell anyone that you had weight loss surgery? Why? Unless you'd kept the weight off, which she hasn't. Why? I'd be too embarrassed to tell someone, oh, yeah, I had weight loss surgery and I lost 70 pounds and then I put 140 back on. Who does that? Vertical sleeve gastrectomy, so they removed 90% of my stomach, well, 80%, I think. So my stomach only holds four ounces. and um... It may have done when you had the operation. It sure as hell holds a lot more now, though, doesn't it, Lardas? But... I was in the hospital for two days and I were, I recovered a lot faster than you did, but you have, you know, when you have parents, I was better than you. I recovered quicker than you. Da, 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 da. This isn't fucking medical club Trump top trumps who we <laughs> fuck sake. Tinnitus in your system. It, that's that does a, a number that really does a number on you you know it's that was not like uh an inflamed appendicitis that they were able to take out you had complications so yeah that's a whole different ball game um but um so wait listen i so i don't want to just get off abruptly but my son had just written me like that's why I didn't call right away. He was like, can I come to Tucson? So I was like, why? And he's like, I'm just bored. And, and I haven't seen him since Christmas. So 
he's going to be here and I'm, I want to like straighten up a little. I haven't seen him for a while. So I can't really talk long, but I'm glad you told me all that. It makes a little bit more sense. And I do hope that you accept my apology and don't accept it. Don't. Okay. No, because she's going to put the phone down now and take the piss out of you. Don't accept the apology. I wanted to, because that's really not who I am. You know. Yes, it is. That's exactly who you are. When somebody shows you who they are, believe them. Run, mole man, run. No, and I don't want to let past experiences make me into a hardened, uh, cynical person. So I wanted to right that Whatever. wrong. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not, I wouldn't, it would never be a deal breaker because you've had surgery that you have to adapt. That would be like if you had a cast on your arm, I wouldn't go out with you. You know, I mean, I'm not, I mean, I could think you could tell I'm not superficial like that. <laughs> no, of course you're not. No. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Bye. Here we go. Take the piss out of him time. She's evil. Cindy, you are so far behind. You're smitten just text him. You couldn't hear when I put this up to the phone. And if you couldn't hear, too bad. It was my fucking conversation. You wanted us to hear, though, didn't you? What do you guys think? We don't know. We don't know what he said. No. I'm not telling him the truth. I'm blocking him and never speaking to him again. Told ya. You guys, you think I'm smitten with him? Okay, the reason that he couldn't go out with me is because he's had surgery in November. He died four times. Once in L.A. He had surgery in November. He had a ruptured appendix but didn't know it. So he had, per I said that, peritonitis. And when they were doing the surgery, which should have taken only an hour, it took eight hours because they had to suck out the peritonitis. And then in doing so, so he has three testicles. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so glad I was on the phone with you guys because I would not be able to remember all this. He has three testicles and they nicked one of them. So every time he walks. It's so. Um, it See, I was right. He needs room to air out his down belows and she's going to make fun of him. Therefore, he deserves the right to see you in your full glory and laugh at you too. It is excruciating and he, so he can't really wear clothes. And, you know, so he can't go to a martini bar with me because he can't really wear clothes. He looks like a bum. 
and he wears scrubs because he used to work in the hospital, so he already had the scrubs. And he can't wear shoes. He, he, re he loves shoes. He has a shoe fetish, and his kids took away his shoes because he can't walk in anything other than flip-flops or slides because it's too heavy for him to lift his legs. So you would think you'd show the man a bit of fucking sympathy. But no, you're going to tell the whole world his story and make fun of him instead. <sighs> of course he worked in a hospital. Wait, Michelle wrote, Lori, we remember the three testicles, believe us, what? Well, he did write on his profile a little extra weight, but he's six seven. Why can't you wear sweats? They're too heavy. See, I was right. He didn't look obese. I saw from here up. Yes, from a few months ago, and he's still in pain. The doctor said he could fix it, but he's not going to risk his life. I'm not going to risk my life. I'm just learning to love myself, you know? I mean, I was with all kinds of women. Like, they just were with me. I think I told you they were with me, uh, you know, because they just wanted to fuck me. Um... They didn't even know my name. And I mean, I have beautiful women that most guys would just kill to be with. But so, you know, I don't know, like, you know, if you're looking for somebody that can dress real nice, go to Martini Bar because, you know, I can barely walk. <laughs> Rich. Look at her terrified there's somebody outside the door. I thought you had fucking neighbours looking out for you and all sorts of CCTV and you didn't care. He didn't even wait. He didn't even wait for me to call him. He called me. Let me see where my little boy is. Locating. Maybe he thought, as you called him the last time, he'd call you this time and pay for the call. He's not 500 pounds. He doesn't look 500 pounds. I think he's... There's something about me that believes... I don't think he's lying. <laughs> Am I crazy? I, I honestly don't think he's lying. Totally run. Like, forget it. Stop it. No, no. I asked him if he had any pets. Did you hear how long the answer was? It was all because, well, no, because I travel too much. And this, that's how he talks. This is why. There was a lot of listening. He obviously thought about it and thought, I wouldn't be able to give the pe a pet a proper life because I'm never in the one place long enough for them to get used to it and then have to move again. Unlike you, who couldn't give a flying fuck. I travel too much and I just think that would be cruel. I mean... And I, you know, I like my fine, 
sits on like my fine leather seats. You know, I mean, I drive sports cars. And it would be cool. I mean, I could, I could cut their nails, but, you know, some people would. And then I said, Wendy, he said he's wearing sweat, uh, scrub pants because of his surgery. See, the reason I don't think he's lying is because I ha it's not like we're making a plan to meet. So he didn't have to sa say any of that, right? If he, right before we were to meet, he could say, listen, I just have to tell you, I just had surgery. This is what you say, just had surgery, so I have to wear these scrubs and a pair of flip-flops. That's what you say. Well, maybe he has a sports car and maybe he has an SUV and he, I mean, I was in a lot of pain. I managed to get in the car. I've been in a lot of pain and I've videotaped me after throwing up and people have written and said, if you can, if you can video you, you're not that sick. Well, I was, I was that sick. So, isn't it a shame he can't wear a skirt and just leave, it, leave his bits open to the, the elements? I suppose if he's at home, he can just sit there, can't he, with a towel over him. But if he's got nobody in the house, he can wander around with his bits out. Why does she have to make fun of somebody? They called me limpy because they made fun of my limp. Who does that? Well, you're making fun of him. I don't, I believe that he had surgery. No, no, no. I don't believe he's lying. There's no reason. There's no reason. He should just, if he didn't want to meet me, he could just act, say all these things without the surgery part and without the scrubs and without the flip-flops. Like nobody needs to know that. He's just weird. That's what it is. How is he weird? He's not weird. He's honest and open. Which you would know fuck all about. Everything is outrageous. All things Wendy. She's got it right. No. Jenny's joint wrong. No. Wait. Wendy. Wendy Lee wrote. I want to read. I knew something was off from the beginning as soon as I heard that message, Lori. I don't think you are crazy, but I think you aren't seeing what we're seeing. I am seeing it. This is why I had suspicions. No, you didn't. But I don't think he's lying. Oh, unless I think he's either crazy and really thinks these things, or it's like cricket. Like, I don't need to know that Cricket almost died three times. It's the fact. No, I think he's being honest and open and he's giving you a way out. And if not, you can't say further down the road, well, I didn't know you had three testicles. I didn't know you had a, an operation. I didn't know because he's told you everything now. As did you. Doggy style's my favourite position and I can't do it anymore. Really? Who says that to somebody they've never met? I, I agree, Rachel. I believe it. Okay, listen to this. I could tell. Right, here we go. This is the bit where she throws Gungor under the bus. A story the same kind of way. So I was married at 21 and I only stayed married for about uh, seven months because he had to go home to his mother. And then on a cruise, there was this really cute guy who was a Turkish waiter and I was like, oh, I like him. And so a month later we were married and we stayed married for like 
five years and then I had a child and then one night in the middle of the night uh, he wouldn't get out of bed with his sister and he used to keep kissing his son's penis and that so I finally got up in the middle of the night and I left him and I went to my mother's house with my little baby and then when I went back to my house to get clothes he had locked me out of the house with his 13 year old sister in the house so I had to call the police and they came and because you know, they separated us and I had told my story and he told his story. And then um, the police who were from West Roxbury, um, uh, Irish Catholic, look, took one look at my Turkish husband and was like, um, Arab. So they were like, get the fuck out of the house. And then I let him have the car. And I mean, I could so, you know, and then if I, if I even started to talk about my mother and Sorry. Who? Who says that about their ex if it isn't true? And if it is true, why did you let him continue to see your son? You should have been fucking held accountable for that. And all of that, it's almost unbelievable. This is why somebody... This is why people don't believe me because none of it, a lot of it to them, because I'm leaving out bits and pieces, could, don't understand that somebody lent me the money before I was able to get the money released from the GoFundMe so that I could get my car back. But I had paid for it, but it wasn't my mother's name, uh, blah, 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 blah. And so, you know what I mean? But yeah. Who, I mean. And not one person pulled her on the kissing the pee pee thing. Or sleeping with his sister thing. Who says that about their ex? Who? If that was going on, you'd have them arrested, wouldn't you? Liar. All lies. This, that's why I told him my story about my knees and about how I like to have sex. There was no reaction. There was, he wasn't like, wow. There was no reaction. There was not, I said it as matter of factly as he told me because at that point I was done. I was playing with him. Um, Exactly, Rachel. Like, would I say I had 80% of my stomach removed? I don't tell guys that I had weight loss surgery. Why? Not initially, because I don't want them to think that, like, I'm going to be a fat pig again someday. I don't want them to think I'm going to be a fat pig again someday. And I... Don't like to tell guys about the knees. I sometimes do, but I don't over the phone before I've met them because I don't. I don't tell them I have Epstein Barr. I don't tell them I have fibromyalgia and that I can't sleep at night and that I hurt all over and like. Ugh. You don't have fibromyalgia. I'm not saying who Cricket is. You don't, if you know, you know. <laughs> what do I sound like? No, Penelope, I don't think this either. Too soon. It's too soon. Don't, he doesn't need to talk about why he's not employed. He doesn't need to talk, he doesn't, he doesn't need to do any of that at this point. Do you understand? Eat with Andy. He doesn't want someone to talk. He just wants someone to talk to. It's all about him, except he does sit and, like, I was talking a lot on the two-hour phone call, and he was listening. He's tricking me. No. You can only be tricked if you're, if you're tricked. No, I'm, I'm with Rachel. I believe all of it. I think it's, I believe all of it, but it's, um, oh no, Anita, what if he finds out where I live? I 
I hope he does find out where you live and I hope he finds out that you've got a YouTube channel and I hope he pulls you on it. You know what, Nikki? It doesn't matter. They're on the paid ones too. And when people say that, okay, so give up, give, give up because of all the crap you have to go through. Who thinks like, oh my God, I hope he doesn't know where you live. This is what I mean. I could meet some nice guy at a restaurant, at the shooting range, anywhere, normal. I could date him for six months and this could still happen. I don't find the ball jokes funny. I'm, it's just like, oh God. He didn't get aggravated at all. You think, Donna? He sounds a bit off. I wouldn't go near him with a 10 foot pole. This is very interesting. Rachel, I think you and you, me and Wendy are the only ones that get it. Like a lot of you are thinking all these other, other th weird things. Now a normal person would have said to them, well, give me a shout when you've recovered and we'll go for a drink. Or we'll go for a meal, or we'll go and watch a film together, or whatever. Doesn't have to be romantic. And who knows, maybe when you eventually meet up, you might hit it off. She's like, she's heard ill um, hospital, and she's like, no, 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 no. What do you think he's thinking about you? I had 12 surgeries in 12 months and I didn't do my rehab. So, da 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 da. What do you think he's thinking about you? His kids are probably going, Dad, put the phone down. Like, there's no reason to have told me that he had three testicles. Yeah, I'm still on the app. I'm still on the app. Can't tell. Look at how thin I would look with my arm if my arm was cut off. Look how thin I'd look if I wasn't fat. <laughs> I mean, just the other day he was telling me he would go and get me groceries, but he forgot to tell me that he's recovering from surgery. Hmm. No. He meant he's the kind of person that if you needed someone to get you groceries, he would have got you groceries. He could go out in his car and go to a drive through and get you a load of stuff, couldn't he? Doesn't mean he has to get out and walk around. But you're taking it as like living life for today. You are looking into it too much. It is what it is. No, you're looking into he it too much. He has to wear much. scrubs. Maybe he is in pain. Maybe, Holly. Maybe like you're in pain, maybe. Can we just look? Look at how much thinner. You guys, I think I need to start a GoFundMe to have my upper arms removed. I'll tell you, even if I had the money, the one reason why I won't get them done is because I don't have anyone to take care of me. Yes. Didn't Kat get hers done and then put on weight and they were really, really tight, her arms. That looks so sore. Yes, Donna, because you sacrifice the big, fat upper arm for a big-ass scar. And some people don't want the big-ass scar. I don't care about the big-ass scar. I would take the big-ass scar. Uh, the reason I won't do it is because it's, it's a tough recovery. Could you, not, could you not do one at a time? Aww. He just wrote, thanks for hitting me up. You're very sweet. Thank you. Oh, Jins, you said the best ticket you ever bought. I put on a good show. Jesus. Why don't I have a million views? You want to know who has a million views? 
dancing to Uptown Funk with my mom and dad from 2015. As one point, the person has a, a little over a thousand subscribers, 1.7 million views. People are fucked. They like the weirdest shit. You're the weirdest shit, so why don't they like you then? <laughs> Wendy, thanks for letting me purge my whole fucking life on you. Holly, you need your arms done? <clears throat> See how she just... Washed over that story with Gungor and no one's pulled her on it. Does that not prove how fucked up her subscribers are? I'll rename it at some point. What should I name it? I think Mole Man was good. I can't, I don't want to, I mean, I've tried naming things really weird stuff. It doesn't work. Nobody likes me. I'm not going to be one of those people. I'm not going to hit it big. Rachel, are you an empath? Because you're not. I wanted to give it another one. I f felt like, but you know what? No, you guys, I, I did, in telling you my story with him, and a lot of you were like, I think it sounds like you really like him. I think you should go. I think you should this and that. Maybe it was this and that. I started second guessing myself. And I figured, what the hell? I'll just, you know, because, like, I don't buy it. Holly, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Dawn is an empath, and I don't buy it. Worst disaster date. I don't know what that means, Abigail. But Rachel, yeah. So I didn't go out with him. I would have still gone. I would have initially made a date to meet him for a drink. Because I don't see that's no harm, no foul. And I would have known instantly. I wouldn't have had chemistry. That's what would have happened. Oh, she means it for the title. See, you guys have to say this. Wait. Name of the title, Abigail. Worst disaster date. Really? Do you think that should be it? I didn't go out with him. <laughs> or I dodged a bullet with mole guy. <laughs> Still won't be seen. It's just not in the cards for me. Worst almost date? No, that won't do it. I have to. Bye, Rachel. Um. Story time. My date had three balls. Simple. Everyone had clicked that. See, she doesn't even... How long has she been doing YouTube and she doesn't know how to get people to click on a video? Um, people love you. They need to share you. Yeah, nobody shares my videos. How do you think Raw Beauty Christina got so big? Somebody shared her videos. No, none of my people sh you hate raw beauty christy don't you it fucking irks her to no end that she got big and you didn't share my videos that's a bone to pick with you guys like do you do any of you share my videos who are they going to share it with really it's like asking people to share my videos who are they going to share it with no the man with three balls, no one's going to believe it because of the, the guys that had no fingers. Did those get thousands of views? No, it just won't happen for me. I'm not. All right, it won't happen for you then. Shut up and move on. I'm not one of those people on YouTube.
Um, Lolly, no, because I found out because I didn't go out with him. Do you know what I mean? No, I'm not going to put anything about his balls. Oh, but you that did, could though. get demonetized. You did, otherwise I wouldn't have it in my title. From love. Oh, I haven't so got it in my title. So you did have it in yours. I saw it somewhere. I'm sure I did. To Gurney Tales. <laughs> His triplets. Oh my god. I bet he's not wearing underwear. No, of course he isn't. If he's sore down there, why? And he has to wear scrubs. Why would he be wearing underwear? Think about it. You guys can think up things, but none of the none of them are going to get me. <laughs> How to spot a crackhead? No. It's so sad because people are going to miss out on such a great live. Mm -hmm. It's no, I'm not going to do anything with the triple balls. If anything, I'm going to do the worst date. What was the worst disaster date? That's that's the name of it. Worst disaster date. He had three balls. Ah! 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 Oh my god! Ah! Ah! <laughs> what is wrong with you? Ah! 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 That's gonna be it. Honestly, you're such a child. Worst disaster date. Had three balls and no appendix. Know if he ever saw that on there, he could come and kill me because he might find out where I live. <laughs> when you get the wrong body part snipped, there's a bug in here. Gucci, what are you doing? Where are you? You're supposed to do something about this. I could do a book, really. I could do a book, I could do a podcast, I could go viral, I could be this, I could be that. It's funny how you never did any of it. Yep, and talk, but that wouldn't get me views. Think about it, how did they nick one of his third... Oh, I guess he said when they were sucking out the peritonitis. I think they nicked it from the inside because I don't think from the outside he has three testicles. Ugh. My God, thank God I never have to see his three testicles and his dick. So he can't have... I bet he's praising the day that he never has to see your fucking lady garden either. Sex. He can when he heals. I don't know. I don't think they just remove things for the sake of it. Like, that wasn't part of the surgery, so why remove it? You know? They wouldn't remove it. But I thought you had chemistry. If you had chemistry, you wouldn't care how many balls he had. I hate her laugh. It's not real, is it? Has anyone ever seen Lardy laugh normally? Because I haven't. Maybe he was just 
you know, I, I would say maybe he was just playing with me because he was pissed off at how I acted. But this would have taken much, much thought. See, why would it? You just drop something in a conversation and see how it lands, like you and you're not being able to do doggy position. This stuff is real. <laughs> My traction went to seven to zero when he... Well, first, when I asked if you had any pets, that should have just been a no. I travel too much. Well, because he obviously had this, because I mentioned Walmart, he died four times. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> See, they're all the same as her. Narc City over there. Evil, but, and people call us evil, really. <laughs> oh my god, I died so <laughs> Fucking irritating twat. I'm just gonna send him a heart. I thought you were blocking him. <sighs> Why can't I track Burke? Locating! Na 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 Because he doesn't my need phone. to track him. Has anyone else's phone sent him a sling? Is acting so weird. Like it won't do certain things. The <laughs> worst disaster day <laughs> She's not even laughing. Do they not see that this is all fake? <laughs> I like shirts too. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> Oh, it's not Glenn. Oh, God. What if I had said to him, while you were under the knife, you should have had that mole removed. While you were under the knife, they should have removed your fucking heart. Oh, they couldn't, because you haven't fucking got one. Yeah, so... I don't know if I told you, but I had surgery, so I was having this mole removed and <laughs> by mistake. They nicked my third ball. <laughs> now I got peritonitis poisoning, so um, I, I'm having trouble smiling. I hope he's met <clears throat> the woman of his dreams and that he's very, very happy. Because you're fucking miserable as sin all on your own. Why did he have to even tell me that all these women wanted to fuck him? You were the one that told him you liked doing doggy position with a 28-year-old. Why did you do that? Said no guy ever. Like, dude, have you looked at yourself? You have a, like, the mold the size of a dime on your eyebrow. I, I don't think you're so handsome. Have you ever looked at yourself? Okay, maybe Jude Law could say women are after me. Maybe Harry Styles. Wendy's suggestion. What's Wendy's? I don't 
talk like that on drugs. He's not. No, he's not on drugs. I mean, he, he's probably on pain medication. But no. I, I, okay. I've been on pain medication, and I have never felt the need to say, tell some obscure stories of my life to a person. Um, sorry, have you seen your lives? Where you tell all? Perfect stranger. I, uh, so I remember I had had sex too many times with my husband when we first got married and I got this yeast infection. I don't know if you've ever seen what a yeast infection looks like, but it's like cottage cheese oozing out of your hole. And he wanted to see it, so I showed him, and it's itchy, and it smells really bad. So, you know, you can get monostat, but it doesn't really work. Okay. No, Karen, that's not funny enough. I like Wendy's or Cheryl's. Because people won't know what cojones. I know what they are and I'm in the UK. So who's not going to know in America? He's told me that twice. That women. Yeah. My disaster date died four times. That's what it's going to be. Although if I say died, that could get demonetized. My disaster date unalived four times. <laughs> Doesn't have the same ring, does it? I think shorter is better. Worst disaster date. Worst phone date. Worst online dating experience. No, because now killed over <laughs> I don't know if I told you but I died four times isn't it weird that cricket died three times what is it with these weird people okay I'm putting this under okay I'm putting some right underneath all the revolvers that I want. My worst disaster date needed to be revived four times. I like the tale of three balls, but my worst disaster day needed to be revived three times is too long of a fucking title. People have read half of it, got bored and scrolled on. I think so, Penelope. I think... It, well, he does pay... I mean... Yeah. Worst phone date says he passed four times. No, that won't... Uh. Oh, Lolly, I like that one. Most bizarre dating conversation you've ever heard. Except that's not what this whole thing was about. <laughs> Three testicles and four deaths. My worst phone date. Oh, my God. Now, the things that get views is like, 
I can't believe he told me that. To do that then? You guys are not going to believe. Like, I've seen a lot lately that are like, best ASMR. Because I've typed in, what's the best ASMR? Best ASMR. And it's not. As the balls turn, that's funny. I could do, he only has three B balls. Three balls. He only, no. He told me he has three balls. He told me he has three testicles. That's it. That's it. You have to think of what people are going to search for. People don't just randomly see. It's what people search for. So like best wedding dance, best groomsman dance. These people, you know. That's funny, Carrie. Too long. That would be too long. I like three testicles and four deaths. My worst phone date. But the death thing could be because I can't put overdose I can't put oh Burke will be here at 11 I'm going to get off does anyone else think that's weird oh Burke's going to be here at 11 I'll get off I'm tidying up for Burke really Okay, for some reason I can't track you. Yeah, he set it so you can't, so you don't see what he's doing in his spare time. <laughs> oh, Abigail, from love serenades and freaking in Walmart to deathbed four times. <laughs> he's gonna, it's not, people don't stop to look through, it's what you search for, so it has to be shorter. Oh my god, worst phone day with the triple ball. <laughs> Weirdo. Cool. My boy's doing off the grid for three days. What? Seriously, from love serenades. To freaking in Walmart to deathbed four times. <laughs> you said Monday. Why are you shouting? Penelope, but that would be flagged. Okay, now he's leaving Sunday. Donna's is good, Donna. Worst phone date with a triple baller. Yeah, but I'm not going to. I'm going, I want the one that we already decided on. I w I would do Cheryl, but I don't want to put now I'm dead inside, but that one is hysterical. So what was Wendy's? I, I really think the best one is three testicles and four deaths, my worst phone date. What about just, he told me he had three testicles? Or balls. What if I just say balls? Because ball could be like flying balls. He told me he had three balls. Blind date told me he had three balls. Wow, she's putting a lot of fucking thought into the title for this live, isn't she? I'm going to clean up. Does she think anyone's going to be watching it? When most of the weirdos were on there with her. Work, work, work! Stop annoying the skinny pig. Oh, Coco's! Oh, fuck's sake. 
Burke's going to think it's gross when he sees the cow cow poop. Yesterday I cleaned that cage so nicely. I can't even tell Burke any of this. But you will. No, Abigail. A picture of like, ugh, what the hell? Oh, oh my. That was the one thing I liked about Glenn. Glenn was bork. <laughs> Glenn was very supportive of the guinea pigs. He was like, go for it. Get it. You want it. Get it. Oh, cute. This guy is like, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know much about guinea pigs. So, do what you do, you do, what you gotta do, girl. Why do you expect him to know about guinea pigs? Not everyone's gonna be fucking into guinea pigs. You wanna call me back? I mean... Well, you did start the conversation with, I'm feeding the guinea pig. You guys, I gotta go. This is my pantry, by the way. It's all very organized. Yeah, and it's got a fucking cat tray in the bottom full of shit. Show that. That's all my jewelry making. This is my nail polish shelf. This is the animal shelf. That's the extraneous stuff and this is paper goods and then lit the litter tray at the bottom yeah don't show that will you okay here goes cow hi cow cows work 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 that's what they do work 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 okay you guys i gotta go because i want to clean up the poop in the um Guinea pig cage so that Burke thinks it's clean. Really? <sighs> like Burke gives oh. a shit. So, I'm going to rename this. It's Burke. Found out tonight how to spell it. Yeah, B R. Snap a picture of you looking at the phone all crazy and use this phone. I learned a lot tonight. Okay. Good, everyone. Thank you for being with me for four freaking hours. I'm going to change... The Titolo. Five hours. Love you. Thank you all for super chat and for buying tickets to my, <laughs> my date. Mwah. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Click the button. Hurrah. We made it to the end. And if you made it with me, congratulations. And I will catch you in the next one.